Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're well, as always. Hope you've had a good week. A better one than ours. Yeah, we've not had a great week, have we? Things just keep going wrong for us this week. <laughs> it's just been like one of them weeks. Literally. So we've come out today because we thought, what is a better way to make a week better? That did not make any sense whatsoever, did it? <laughs> How do you make your week better? Ikea. 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 That's Ikea. That's where we are yeah. now. After a big debacle because we realised that we'd come all the way here <sighs> and didn't bring the memory card. Well, the memory card wasn't in the camera. We literally came all the way here, no memory card. So we were like, right, we've got two options here. We either just go in the store and just do it all without recording or we go and buy a memory card and yeah. make sure that we record it for you guys what did we do we went and got a memory card oh. we were like we've got to bring you to ikea we've literally moved in a house been in there like two months and not been to ikea once what we're most excited about now is the meatballs because we're both very hungry and thirsty and agitated from everything hungry. that's just happened we are getting really hungry so we're gonna have to get in there and get to the food section ASAP. Straight to the restaurant. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Food's finally secured, so we can stop being hungry. That's an hour, too. We've been in there for an hour. There was no dime cake, we can believe it, but this does look good to be fair. Pounds. Right, this is what we think we're gonna go for, guys. We've actually got them little mini, like gold handles that we bought with the um, to do the cabinet. Sorry, so close. <laughs> Remember when we when we bought them gold when I bought them gold handles for the cabinet? Oh yeah, the little yeah, the tiny ones. On. Yeah, that's a good idea. You have the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door we're gonna go for. Lovely, lovely. It's Thank kind of too. like are we kind of basically going for a fence. Fence. <laughs> Basically, it's like a, fence. Picket, a picket fence is the door. Yeah, it actually looks like a fence. Do you think we've gone for a bit of a weird one? Yeah. It's like a um, bar from tile. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> right. But it's good here, guys. Like, you can, yeah, you can literally so just like, build it yourself. But, I mean, you've probably been able to see this for years. I just didn't notice. This is why we didn't come to IKEA at first, though, because we would have just built the whole house with IKEA. Yeah. And I love IKEA. But I feel like we we want to have both, like old, like recycled bit yeah. and IKEA bit. We're looking yeah. at folding chairs because obviously our dining table is only big enough for four people, but we've got obviously yeah. like we probably have more than that round. They're nothing They're like really special fun. in terms of a chair, but they fold flat and they can go in the cupboard under the stairs. You know, week. it's so confusing in IKEA though because you're like, right, I like those now, but you can't pick them up because we're in the showroom. It's yeah. a bit weird, isn't it? It's like Right, so we'll have to take a picture of that now. Yeah, they've, they've, they've got done away with all the paper and pencil. Right, we're having a discussion over this. It's going to <laughs> which, be more comfortable which than that. Which cushion? I, re I reckon this right, cushion. Next. Look at that. 
I reckon this I reckon kitchen, this one. and Joe reckons this style of kitchen. Oh yeah, that's lovely that is. <laughs> lovely that is. Lovely. I could sit on this for about ten years. Really? I don't think. No, so. it is nice. This is the one I thought. He's gonna say no. Hundred percent. <laughs> 100%. Of course, you're going to you say, say that. You try, you try. That's comfy. Yeah. That's got proper foam in This might not last. This not Go on, sit on it. Yeah, no, so you can feel the hard <laughs> chair. Right, we're going to have to get a stranger to test them out and see which they think is more comfortable. No. We are. Because we're not going to agree. It's one of the battle of the kitchens. <laughs> We're getting these ones. Six quid, one pound more than the one that I wanted. It's because they're more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Those just trying to build a wardrobe now. Some of this stuff's out of stock, which is really annoying. It kind of reminds me of The Sims, though. I quite like it. Right, this is Joe's wardrobe. It's gone for two sliding drawer things with like gym kit and stuff. Um, a trouser thing that pulls out, t-shirts, jackets, shirts, but we've realised that we need to like cut this down so we're going to have to get a custom made door, well we're going to have to custom make doors so we're just going to get the actual wardrobe if that makes sense and then Joe and his dad are going to have to build the doors together. Literally so thirsty. We've been in there for like, how long do you reckon we've been in there? Like three hours? Seems like we've been casino. in there for a day. Found the lazy Susans. <laughs> oh my god, that's literally on its own. It's literally like going to Toys R Us with a five year old. Ikea MK. Ikea MK. <laughs> Mastermind at work. The masterpiece made out of plant pots and a lazy Susan. The mastermind at her best. Or well, this one? Mm. Not as good. I feel like you need like vertical lines if you're going to do it. Slightly higher. Slightly higher. Like, just we're talking like a millimetre if it is. Show the construction. You are not. I've had to walk away because Bethan is stacking pots on top of each other and they look like they're going to fall, so I'm getting myself out of the picture. I, want to get, I don't want to get thrown out of this place for smashing all the pots up. Dance. Dance. That was stressful. Right, we're now at the most confusing part of IKEA, <laughs> trying to find all the flat we packs. We need two of these, don't we? Um, I'm literally having to find everything on my One phone. Three, yeah, two, three, four. See you later then. Guys, this is actually so confusing. I do not like numbers. Joe was getting me to call out numbers and I was like saying them all the wrong way around and I'm just a nightmare. We're heading to the information zone because we need some serious help with these packs of wardrobes. But I am so tired right now. <laughs> I can't believe like how long you spend in IKEA. Like five hours we've been in there. We have got quite a lot to be fair. We've now got to go to another station. I don't know where. I've never been to it before actually. Maybe I have. Maybe I was a kid. And pick up like the packs of wardrobes and some other like flat pack stuff that we've got. We've got something from my mum um, but yeah I'm just so tired right now definitely not going to be making any flat pack tonight if anyone else's boyfriend reverse park in like the supermarket or like somewhere like this in Ikea doesn't make any sense we had a full argument about it why would you reverse park in a car park when you know that you need to get in the boot Right guys, there is literally no room left in this car. The whole thing is jammed out. Right, smashed it. <laughs> guys, 
I can't even like show you, but I am ridiculously far forward. Like I'm practically right near the windscreen, which is kind of dangerous, but it's literally the only option. My seat is like, can you tell, is way forward compared to Joe's because we literally just can't fit me anywhere else. Anyway, successful trip, I think. We spent a grand total, we'll be transparent, or if we just worked it out, £527 in IKEA and that is why you can't go to IKEA too often because once you're in it is literally like how did they describe it on that, <coughs> that um program documentary it's like you're like sucked into this world where you just like you just buy have everything. to spend you have to spend money because it's like such a chore to get there yeah like the whole thing the is whole like thing. a like you don't just nip into Ikea oh, I'm just going to nip into Ikea no. and get a chair it's like you, nip you, in, you go into Ikea because you're committing to yeah. purchasing like a number of things literally it was actually hilarious and we've even watched a documentary about it and we still managed to spend £500 so that's five. then we spent 20 quid on food and yeah driven true it. and driven here petrol but anyway um, we kind of like knew over the next few months of us buying the house and like moving into it that we weren't going to be able to save you know how normally like you get your wages at the end of month and you like save x amount um we knew we kind of needed to spend all of our savings for a few months so we've kind of had it in our heads that our savings are, would be spent and then just spending it straight yeah <laughs> we're just spending it as soon as we get it basically obviously we're going to show you guys what we got um when we like put it up and stuff but we've got a tv unit which is great because we've got that weird gray footstool box there at the moment with all cables hanging over so we've got tv unit which is also going to make the place a bit tidier because we can take all of the like little random bits we've got in the office do you remember in the last vlog we've got all those bits in the office we were sorting out whatever's left in there basically can go in the tv unit and then we've got a bathroom that did not sound good did it no that's broken has it yeah the plant was broken are you joking no. we're down on one coffee table wow we're having a really bad week we're breaking the coffee table that i was gonna build anyway what else did we get? So we've got a TV unit, we've got bathroom cabinet. Are you right? Don't worry about it. Let's just leave it till we get home. A TV unit, a bathroom cabinet, which is going to be great because we've got stuff all over the bathroom floor that we want to put away. Um, and then we've also got Joe's wardrobe or start of his wardrobe. So we have got a lot of stuff. It's not like we didn't get anything. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video now because I'm fuming about that bathroom <laughs> You just gotta laugh, otherwise you'll cry. We'll see you when we get laugh. home. <laughs> just gotta laugh. We are home and we made it back to the sofa. We're not gonna build anything tonight, guys, so we're gonna have to carry on this vlog for the next, probably the next week, I guess. We're gonna kind of build everything, maybe like in the evenings, after work and stuff. But I'm so excited to get this area looking a little bit more neat i feel like this part of the lounge looks so nice and then you go around here and it's just a bit of a mess so i'm really excited to put that up we're getting dominoes as well we're getting dominoes because there is zero percent chance that we're cooking pizza is going to be ordered candles are going on got the tv light on we've got millie going absolutely mad at joe because oh. She missed us so much and we really missed her as well. I literally couldn't stop thinking about her. Yeah, I was so panicked. We don't leave her much, do we? And yeah, I just don't like it. It breaks my heart. Anyway, we'll carry on this vlog when we start putting the stuff up, basically. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day and we are going to try and get... Let me just open these blinds. we try and get some of the uh, IKEA stuff that we bought yesterday ready and prepared because we've got a busy day and we can't do it really in the, well we can do it in the week but we work and obviously it's just it's just stress so and I'm gonna make some coffee because I can't start the day without coffee. I'm wearing this funky jacket I got this for Glastonbury and I've been seeing it on in the hangers on the hangar for ages and I don't want to wear that. This morning was the time where I was like yeah Thank you. 
tradition in our house where we eat, well I make coffee for Bethan every morning. Hands up if you think that's cute. I think she even knows how to work the coffee machine to be honest. She says she does but every time she uses it she's like, oh, what's happening, what's happening? And then I end up doing it anyway. it all unloaded. Step one complete. Might treat myself to a few sips of coffee now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I've already done a hard day's labour. Good morning. I'm ready to sit out chill out. Have now. you? Yeah, I just noticed you'd done all the IKEA stuff. I left a few bits in the car. You didn't even ask me to help you. Feel bad. If I'm honest, sometimes it's just easier if I do it myself. <laughs> I'm not even going to argue that, to be fair. <laughs> happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Actually, it's actually Sunday for everyone else when you're watching this, so happy Sunday. What are we doing this morning then, Mr. Project Manager? But we haven't got loads of time, so we need to go shopping at 10. Yeah. But we're going shopping at 10. We're getting there. Yeah, In we the are. queue at 10. Whenever I go shopping on my own, I get there at 10. Whenever we go you with Bethan, like Bethan's going upstairs at 10, own, like getting stuff You self don't like it, you specifically asked me. That's the one thing that we need to do in, on a Sunday, is get to the shop. <laughs> right, what's opens. the time? Half eight. Let's put this washing on. Yeah, I reckon we could do the bathroom cabinet, to be fair. Right, what are we going with? Kitchen? No. The bathroom unit. Bathroom unit. Kitchen. <laughs> I don't know what kitchen unit I've got. After you, Quinta. To me, to you, to me, to you, to me, to you. Watch the dog. Good morning, Miss Mel. She just burped on camera. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> she literally just burped. I am full to the brim. <laughs> it's got to be perfect. What music should we have on? Gotta see if my project leak. Drowning out our sorrows, holy water, lost at sea. Packing all this koala, I might cop a submarine. Boy, I see the birds, I check my tweets. Don't expect no warning text from me. Drowning out our sorrows, holy water, lost at sea. Stacking all this koala, I might cop a submarine. Wake up every morning, all I know. And that guys. Stop. Here we have the finished article and it looks pretty good to be fair. Yeah, this is it. And IKEA have like improved their mechanisms. This was like the easiest thing I've ever had to put up with IKEA. But yeah, this is the uh, cabinet. Reuse these handles from when we when we done the kitchen unit. I bought these initially, but they ended up being a bit too small for it. So. Worked out perfectly, really, for this. Finally, we've managed to get rid of all of the stuff that was on the floor and on the top in the bathroom. And um, we've put a little hanging plant on there just to kind of break it up a bit. But this is the bathroom storage. Oh my God, that literally makes me so happy. Like all of my stuff actually in there, not all over the top. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get some kind of organizer for all this because Let's be realistic, as soon as I start pulling stuff out on that, it's literally all gonna fall over. I was thinking maybe I'll get one of those Lazy Susan the, um, plastic things you can get from Amazon, and then I can just like put all the products on it and spin it around. That's Joe's shaver hair stuff. Um, toilet roll, and then on the bottom, it just got some like crease release spray, toilet cleaner, bleach, carpet cleaner, and that's a little thing that I got from B&M ages ago but yeah i just feel so happy that we can literally close the door on that now i think it cost 95 pounds 
Um, but it is big. It's so difficult because I can't actually get far enough away for you to be able to kind of see. But it is, yeah, it is quite big. And I feel like once we get this bathroom done, like all the tiles up, to the wall and like a, a glass splash across here so I think it will kind of look quite nice. Got another thing to show you. You've got the little like divider things. You've got the divider. Save us like up. reaching round like to the back of the plates and stuff. Yeah it looks good. And also we had all the small plates up right at the back didn't we? So mm. we had to always reach behind as well. We just put we a only few. Have, have like a slice of toast or something like yeah, that. Yeah exactly. We? Yeah that looks good. And then we've got the bowls and the little ramping dishes. I feel like we've mainly bought that for aesthetic, aesthetic purposes. We have got purposes. Good day. What's that? It's a mic. Joe's getting into his camera equipment now, aren't you? <laughs> no, I actually see this on um, Fab and L's video. Oh, did you? That's what they use. We love um, them. I'm not sure if he still uses it, but he done like a little sit down, like open box opening thing with this. But rather than having like a big chunky mic, and just have like a small, a small one. Ultra compact, go anywhere microphone for clear and natural sound. I've just been pied by my this, <laughs> <laughs> this is the sound on the camera when I haven't got the mic in. And this is the sound on the camera when I have got the mic in. about a week later now and turns out that our microphone that we bought is not working quite right so we've had to delete some of the footage that we made in the week which is really annoying but we'll work out how to use it um I thought I'd just like wrap up this video by kind of showing you what we actually got from Ikea and what we've done so far obviously you guys saw the bathroom cabinet that we put up and yeah, that's pretty much as it was. I did manage to get a lazy Susan thing. I think I was mentioning it at the time. Um, so I have put that in there, I'll show you guys. I'm very impressed with it. So this is what I've got. It's like a little spinning lazy Susan, I guess, which you normally put in a kitchen, but I think it works perfectly for all of my products. I also managed to pick up this little thing here, which is really good if you use cotton pads. Um, because you can like pull them out of there. There's like a little opening. So I love that. I'm really happy with this cabinet. Um, yeah, it's just been really good. So we're very happy with that one. Then you guys will have seen, I think the last clip was Joe putting up his first wardrobe. Um, obviously we did mention in the video that we need to cut the other one that we brought down. So that hasn't been done yet, but Joe's wardrobe frame the other one is done now, so that is up. And he just needs to fill these drawers. Um, I don't think he's got around to doing that yet. I don't know what that is, a receipt. Um, but they're really good, like really solid. And then this thing with the um, trouser thing on is actually really handy as well. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. I think once he's got the other side up with like his jackets and stuff in, and then we make the doors, that is gonna be such a good little space. And then this weekend, Joe has actually finished, well not finished, um, but started putting up the TV unit. Hi Joe. Hi. Grand reveal of the TV unit. It's not fully complete, but it's looking better. So with the TV unit, this isn't the door that you were expecting. So I'm gonna, gonna tell you the story afterwards. But yeah, these are the doors that we've got. They're like kind of a wood effect. Joe's put these door handles on, which is the same as the one we got in that bathroom cabinet upstairs. All of like the sky box and everything in that box down there, which again, we're like thinking about how we're gonna do it. But we put it in there for now because it looks better than it just being all over the floor. But yeah, I feel like it's looking really nice. One day we might pan on the back of this wall but to be honest with you even just changing that area down there has like changed the whole space now because we can obviously decorate it with stuff funny story about the doors so we got home um obviously we'd chosen those ones that i said looked a bit like fences joe opened them and we hadn't even picked up the right doors but we hadn't even picked up these doors either we'd picked up was it like navy doors yeah they were like navy ones <laughs> they weren't very nice at all. At one point I opened them I was like, 
oh, they might just go, and then they're just like, yeah, no, we ain't having navy doors on No, because we'd already got a white unit, so it would have just looked really odd. Um, so Joe then basically had to take a day off work on Friday and go and pick up some new doors. Got there, they didn't have the doors that we actually wanted. So he's picked these ones, but now we've put them up, we both agree that we actually prefer these ones and they just look They're a bit like, more expensive looking. Yeah, they, it doesn't look like Ikea at all. Like, as where the other ones, you could tell were Ikea-y. And we're going to do on the top, because these are three separate units. Obviously, you would have seen us putting them together. So you can see so the gaps it's a bit of a here. task to put it on the wall. Like they, basically, we're going to get like a top shelf, basically fix all of the units to, to that one piece of wood and then have it so it's like a sort of a rusticy sort of similar to the flooring yeah piece like of a wood vibe and then that will like i think that will look a lot neater yeah. without having the lines in and we are really happy with that the other couple bits i've got to show you before we end this vlog is i made a statue out of these which is two vases stuck together glued together from ikea and they were literally like a pound <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing then. They're like a pound each or like a pound 20 each. It's not very light in here. Um, so I've stuck them together. I was gonna spray paint it. They're actually a little bit off because I moved them, but from the front, you can't tell. Um, anyway, I was gonna spray paint it, but Joe's mom said that it looks kind of cool glass. I got that from Ikea as well. And Joe's mom said that it just looks nice glass. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I spray paint it like white or should I just leave it glass? And the other thing is the tables, which you will have seen, like footage of me looking at all these different plant pots and like doing weird stuff on the floor and then Joe being like, I can't deal with this because he was getting stressed out. Um, so I'm basically building a coffee table, which is just here, um, from plant pots and a lazy Susan. And I am gonna spray them, so they're not gonna be this color. I've bought a spray, spray, which I'll show you in a sec, but there was a coffee table I wanted, and it was genuinely like nearly 400 pounds. Um, and it had kind of like this vibe to it, but I was like, I can't spend 400 pounds on a coffee table right now. So I did that, I'm gonna try it myself. So this is two plant pots upside down with a lazy Susan. So I've got this spray out of B&M, which is like a textured spray paint, and it's in, bleached stone i'm basically gonna spray that with this once i've glued it together and i'm hoping that that's gonna look really nice um i wanted to do it for this vlog but the weather every day has literally i don't know if you can see the rain probably not but the weather every day has just been horrendous so i haven't been able to get outside we don't have a garage obviously and i'm not going to be spray painting indoors so I basically can't finish the project which is annoying um but that's the reality of all of this you DIY. Like, it, like finishing it. no, every t every time we're like doing a video in my head, I'm like panicked because I'm like we're like half doing projects. But then that is the reality of like DIY and moving house. Like I want everything done yesterday, but it can't always be done yesterday, can it, Joe? No. So it's just realistic. We have a coffee table that isn't complete at the moment. I think that's basically everything from Ikea. I think Joe will probably just want to show you what he's been up to yesterday. Do you want to show him? Painted the wall. Woohoo! Um, so that's all painted and ready to rumble basically. The, the actual like hole in the wall looks so much better now that yeah, it's actually it's painted. More like flowy. It looks like it's meant to be there as well yeah. before it was like you could tell that we cut Patches a hole Patches of up. plaster and stuff. It's yeah. Like, Hopefully you enjoyed Hope this you enjoyed video it. and if you are like thinking about going to Ikea, I feel like you can 100% go to Ikea and make things your own. Like the TV unit we're, we've like put handles on that it didn't come with and we're going to put a shelf on. Yeah. The coffee table we're making out of random stuff. Like the vases glued together just makes it a bit funkier. Um, I How feel did like you it's find been that a stuff? bit more Is it on fun. Instagram? Yeah, I just type in on tiktok actually is better for it like ikea hacks and you can just go through it like it's like even like ikea coffee table hack and there's like so many cool coffee tables that people yeah. make and stuff even the tv units they're not sold as a tv unit we like built them it's called like so the best it's like it's one, shelves it? um but again i saw that online like and then i was like oh that's perfect they sell a TV unit but it's really thick and it wouldn't work in this room. But yeah. But yeah, hopefully that gives you some IKEA inspo. Hopefully you enjoyed our little trip to IKEA. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, then like, 
the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Peace. No, that's peace, isn't it?